What's going on, beautiful peoples? Mark is back with another video. Hope everybody's enjoying their day. I know it's been a minute, but man, Black Friday was crazy. Holidays, you know, we got family out here. So yeah, here we are, finally back. But uh, but before I get into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, man, hit that like button for us, man. That helps us tremendously. But you guys seen the title, seen the thumbnail, you know what this is, man. We've had we had three releases uh, since the last time I talked to you guys. I'm wearing two right now, which is the hoodie and the red snapback. Um, we released the snapbacks uh, one week, and then I released the hoodies the next week. We started off with the snapback release, the fire red that I have on right now, and the forest green, and both did really well with the release, man. People really took to those and uh, just, I, I can't be more happy with with how they came out um every, I know I say every time a new we drop a new hat or a colorway or or a shirt or something man I always say it's like my favorite but these hats are really my favorite man because it feels like I'm get I get better at what I'm trying to articulate to our manufacturer and being able to pick out the colors the materials, all that good stuff, man, and just be able to dis display that, and it comes uh, comes back to me exactly how I imagined it, and um, from the mock-up to the actual hat, man, it's just, it was just dope, and uh, this was no different, man. I had to do a red and white one. People really loved the red and black that we did uh, a year ago, so had to, it was only right to come with the red and white. And the one small detail that I made was uh, making the logo smaller. So, you know, that was just something uh, different. And me personally, I kind of got tired of seeing the big logo. And the, the smaller one on the hat just makes it look a little bit more subtle. The hat, to me, looks more complete. So, uh, yeah, man, the smaller logo. That's, that might be around for a while, the smaller logo. Still got the suede brim. Y'all know how we get down. Suede on the top, suede on the bottom. I decided to go with gray uh, on the underbill. Uh, just something neutral. That uh, I, I almost did pink on the green. Like the green, the forest green hat, I almost did a pink underbill. I was so close to doing it. But then I was like, eh. I, I just went with the gray at the last minute. Um the red one, I did the gray suede. This is it's gray on it's suede on top, suede on the bottom. I just changed the color, uh, so it was a uh, it was a process. But I, I like the way that they came out. Um, so I was able to get some some photos of the of these uh, hats. Took some product shots, you know, just something for social media and for the website to have up there, so people can get an idea of what those things look like and then we came out with the black hoodies and we did a photo shoot for that with me and my wife we decided I decided to do it with my wife this time and uh yeah man con continuing this this message that we're uh trying to get out to the world with our compete concept we've received a lot of questions from people asking about this compete concept why is it backwards and the story behind that is is pretty simple man it makes so much more sense when you're looking in the mirror uh, because so often especially in today's times we tend to compare ourselves to others we're scrolling social media constantly i do it you all do it you know i'm we're constantly seeing other people's highlights and we're constantly trying to live up to the next person when the only competition that is really worth having is the one between you and the person in the mirror. So that was the whole concept behind this Compete brand is to stop comparing yourself to others and just focus on being your best self each and every day that you wake up. Just make that day the best day. You know, just concentrate, focus on you because nobody can be you better than you except you, if that makes sense. So... Hopefully people are getting this concept. I know a lot of people are really taking to it, and we really appreciate it. You know, especially a lot of athletes have reached out to us. We've reached out to a lot of athletes. Uh, a few NFL players have been rocking with us. So shout out to, to everybody that's really rocking with this brand and understanding the concept behind 
uh, what we're trying to do, man. We really do appreciate it. So uh, uh, on this photo shoot, I did get some behind the scenes footage of it. Um, I brought my backdrop. So you, know, you guys, it it looks like we're it could it possibly look <laughs> it looks like we're doing like this big studio production thing, but it's really not anything like that. So just to give you an idea. I'm just I just have a regular white uh, backdrop. I just pulled it out, pulled my camera. Uh, I had my one light. I wanted to use natural light. Uh, it was a big window next to the backdrop, but it was such a cloudy day that the light really wasn't coming in. There was no sun, so I did have to bring one of my lights down to uh, to get some good photos to get the lighting the way I wanted. And uh, the baby was taking a nap while I was down there setting everything up. So, and while I was waiting for the wife to come down with the baby after the baby woke up, uh, I went ahead and decided to take some pictures of myself with a black hoodie, the forest green hat. I think I had on some gray, yeah, I had on some gray jeans from H&M. And I wanted to do two pair of shoes. The first one, of course, my favorite Chuck Taylors by uh, Nick Castillo and uh, Gonjarillo. They did a collab. I had to bring those forest green Chuck Taylors or Slick Taylors, as they are called, uh, customs. And that's just a dope shoe, man. That's like one of my favorite shoes in the collection. And the second pair was the Cool Gray 11s. You know, the Cool Gray 11s just came out, so I had to see what that looked like. The gray go with the underbill under the hat. I was like, that'd be a dope little touch. And uh, I just took a few, snapped a few pictures. You know, y'all know how I get down. Full body shots, uh, mid shot, and a close up. And yeah, that was pretty much it. You know, hit it from different angles um, and, you know, just show different, different sides of the hat and all that. And the hoodie, close up, good stuff, man. It was just simple, straight to the point shoot. I pulled the chair from, I don't know where that chair came from, but I just grabbed a random chair. And then <laughs> after that, uh, wifey came down and I got some shots of her and both of us together and she had on uh, some camouflage pants like camouflage cargo pants and then she had the off-white blazers uh, which was a really good look and I decided to sw swap the chairs out so she could have something a little bit different than what I was sitting in uh, for that one and then I changed into I think I had some pants from Black Taylor. Uh, yeah, some green, uh, like some army green cargo p pants from Black Taylor. And then I threw on the Carmine Sixes. I have not worn those yet until this shoot. And I thought that was just like a, a pretty good combo to go, uh, to go with the black hoodie, the red hat. We got some really dope shots. Uh, so all in all, the photo shoot was fun. We had the music going. And, you know, we just had really had a good time, knocked it out, and I got everything edited for the website, and then uh, I was able to get shots for social media, stories, uh, you know, things of that nature. So, overall, man, it was just a good shoot. The release was great. People really responded to this release. It was, uh, I, I guess you could say it was, a, it was a highly anticipated release because people were really wanting the black hoodies to come back. So I decided to bring them back with, a, you know, with the new design that we were doing, which is basically the the ghosted out logo and behind the compete. Uh, so, and people like it. So is those moves really quick? I'm glad I ordered more than I normally would uh, because we would have sold out super fast. So we still got some left, and in uh, certain sizes we might only have like one or two. But, uh, yeah, the black hoodies are moving. So that's pretty much it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, showing some behind the scenes and uh, enjoying the photos. Uh, I'm trying to get better at photography, so I'm really, you know, trying to trying to hone in on, on photography and just get better at it. I enjoy that process of it. And, uh, yeah, man, if you guys rocking with us, man, hit that thumbs up for us. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And we back, man. Got enough, Got more videos to come. So stay tuned. Peace.